Hello, and welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I'm going to take some time to talk to you about the sliding ledger rig. This really is as simple and easy as it gets. All it refers to is that you have a rig where the lead has the ability to slide. This presents a bait tight on the bottom. I use it from the shore, fishing for dabs, flounders, place, um, gilted breams. This is the rig that I use. Use it on a boat, any type of downtide rig I generally have as a sliding ledger rig. You could also fish it uptide. All I would do was onto your main line from your rod, first of all slide a bead, then slide a swivel. This is only if you're fishing light and generally from the shore. The reason I'm saying that is because, because you're only using a small weight it's not putting too much strain on the tackle so you can connect the swivel straight to the line there you go all that is is your lead slides up and down so that when a fish pulls like this the fish is connected straight to the rod tip if you're if you're in pattern oster and you're connected to the weight first the fish has got to move the weight before it shows a bite these rigs are great for bite indication if you're going to be fishing from a boat say for instance down tiding for cod, for conger, for rays, all you do is you just beef it up a bit. You would use something like this. These are called a zip slider. There's lots of different brands out there. You pick them up very cheaply on eBay, 15, 20 pence each. Generally, they have two different sized holes. Slide it through the small one first, the reason that you put a bead first is so that when your lead, your lead slides up and down it doesn't hit up against the knot and damage the knot. Now for your down tide rig all you would do there, open up your snap swivel, connect in one of your hook lengths and there you go, you're ready to go. For fishing for conger you would possibly use like 150 pound mono or fishing for bull husks, you maybe use 80. If you're fishing for something like cod in a fast tide run, what you might want to use is what's called a bolt rig. Now carp anglers will know this instantly because it's used throughout course fishing. A bolt rig, in essence, is a sliding ledger rig, the same as before, but it is within, say, I've, I've put this in two feet. It's a finite distance. With this, this is connected straight on your main line up to your rod tip. So in effect, it could slide all the way right up your rod tip. So if you're fishing from a boat and you lower it over the side and you lower it too quickly, the weight will sink faster than your hook length. So it will slide up to the end. So when it reaches the bottom, it might have slid 10 feet up your line. This bolt rig, your lead will only ever slide that far. This is also good for if you're fishing up tide in a strong run of tide because a fish may pick it up and start to move off a fish may pick up your hook bait, start to move off, your lead will slide up your line then hit It'll pull against your lead. That's generally a self-hooking rig. As the fish swims and it hits the weight, the hook pulls and hooks into its mouth. The bolt rig. Fishermen generally are quite ingenious and are always experimenting with new things. A good friend of mine, Mr. Steve Daw, when we were conga fishing, uses this. All it is, it's just, just rubber tubing. Nothing remarkable about it. But we found that every now and again, using one of these harder zip sliders, the line does tangle up and come fast. All you do is you take a piece of your rubber tubing and a standard snap swivel and thread it through. Like that. 
same as before. Slide a bead. Slide your tubing. Connect your weight. This, because it's flexible tubing, shouldn't foul up as much, in theory. And to be honest, I wouldn't have thought it was much of a problem until I fished alongside of him and I was using these and two or three times throughout the day, man became fouled over for whatever reason and his, whilst fusing with these, didn't. The sliding ledger rig.